I know writing blurbs as an author can be really stressful because authors are perfectly capable of writing a giant full-length manuscript, but condensing that down into a tiny little paragraph or two to be able to communicate what that book is about to our audience or to the people who are potentially buying that book can be really overwhelming. We tend to be very close to our babies and to whittle it back to just the most important things can be very, very stressful. So let me give you a little advice that can help you out, save you some stress and some time and effort as you were doing this. This should work for most people or at least help to get you on the right path for your blurb. Now, when you are going to be writing your novel, you should be keeping an active timeline of everything that's happening. The chapter, the page number that you're writing it on, and every bullet point that has happened along the way. Now, if you're a plotter, you've done this in advance. You already have this. If you're a pantser, as you are writing, you need to be keeping that documentation. Saves you so much stress and effort later on. Trust me, we've talked about it before. But you should have a running timeline. If you don't have a running timeline, now is the time. Read through your book and write down every single step that happens. And I do recommend having the chapter numbers and the page numbers that the chapter starts on so you can easily go back and find things should you need to. Once you have that timeline, we're now going to duplicate it, bring it over into a separate file, and you're going to look at that timeline. Now, every bullet point that is not incredibly essential to explaining what this book is about, you delete that. So as you're going through, maybe you have a scene where they are going to war and you are listing this happens and she interacts with this person and this person saves her and then she saves this person. Are all of those bullet points that important. If you were to tell me what your book is about, you're not going to list all 72 things that happen inside of the novel, right? You will tell me she's going to war. She's going to battle. That's important. The people that she's interacting with, what happens while we're there, probably most of that is not important for me to understand without having read the book. We're looking for the main overarching things. So these are the bullet point topics that are going to be the descriptors of what happens, the finer points, probably not that important. So take out anything that is a finer point and we're going with those big umbrella points. Whittle that down to the most important things. You are weeding this out like it is going out of style. Take out anything that does not absolutely have to be there for someone who doesn't know this book to understand what that book is about. Now, you should be left with a pretty decent little list of things that happen inside of your book. Now, if you are writing something like a summary, those are the points you're probably going to leave there. So that is going to be really helpful. Now you've got a summary, but we got to get it down to a blurb. So now we really have to start getting nitpicky about this. We as readers don't need to know everything that happens. That is the whole entire point of reading this book so that we can experience it. So we're not giving away anything that's a major spoiler. So go ahead and cross those spoilers off. We don't want to do that. But we do want to be focused, especially very heavy, on the beginning and the middle sections of your book. So most of the things at the end of the book probably don't need to be here. Now you may find at the end of the book, you are going to have a point that is relevant. Maybe that is the whole overarching point of the book. They have to withstand all this stuff so that this thing can happen. So if you are thinking of something like a a dystopian Hunger Games type thing, they have to go through all of this to survive this. They have to get to this point. And that could be something that you're disclosing in the blurb. Nothing that's too spoilery, but you're going to want to say, you know, in order to save the kingdom, this is the stuff that has to happen. So you're going to look a little bit at the end, but you're probably not going to use too much from the end in the blurb. The blurb is what we are using to hook people in and get them to buy the book. So look heavily toward the beginning and heavily toward the middle. And now you are just finding the biggest five or six points that you're going to use in your blurb. So with your blurb, you have to tell me who your character is, what the stakes are, why we need to care about that character, and what journey we're going to go on. So who is the most important? What is the draw for these things? Now that you've got that bullet point list, you're going to weed through those, pick out the best ones, and you're going to start writing your blurb from there. Now, we've talked about blurbs before. We've talked about how you can be doing these things. And if you've got questions, go ahead and drop those for us. And if you want to get deeper on what to do with these bullet points after the fact, We can talk a little bit more about them. It is going to be specific to each individual book, which is why we're kind of ending it here. The main goal and the main point of this video 
is for you to have your timeline, weed out the little finer points, and leave all those big bullet points that you then have to put into your blurb. And in a lot of cases, if you've done this well, you will have a pretty decent structure for that blurb. And you will for sure have a pretty decent structure for a summary if you're going to need that for a publisher or an agent or something like that. You want to make sure that you've got your summary and then weed that back even further. Rip those things right out by the roots and give us the main things for the blurb. Who do we need to know? Why do we need to root for them? What journey are they going on? What's going to happen? What are the stakes? If you can tell me why I need to care about this person and what the stakes are, there's much higher likelihood that we are going to grab your book. And again, your blurb is incredibly important for your marketing. So you got to do well with this. You can, of course, bring in a blurb doctor or a developmental editor. You can bring in people to help you with that. People like me are people who are hireable to help with those things, but you got to make sure you do it right and in the right way so that you have a marketable actionable blurb that will help you to get those sales. So drop your questions down below. Let me know if you're going to go through the process of weeding away your bullet points and seeing what you're left with from there to then be able to have those highlight banner moments inside of your blurb. And then I do recommend you try to write like three versions of a blurb until you find one that really, really fits. And you might even want to cherry pick pieces of those three different things and cobble them together to form the right blurb. For me, I typically write several blurbs before I get the one that we go with. So please know it's something that you have to work on just a little bit, but making sure you weed those things away really helps to refine it and to give you a very clear path on how you are going to create your blurb and your summary as you are working on your novel. Drop your questions down below and follow along for more daily tips and tricks helping you level up in the world of publishing so that this can be your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress and overwhelm. Let me know what you need help with and we'll see you in the upcoming episodes.